Yeah, uh, pretty satisfying. Um, I don't think it's quite obviously sunk in yet for me. So, uh, but more importantly, just pretty happy with the win. Um, it's a great way to sort of get the series underway. So pretty exciting, and um, it's about momentum sort of pushing throughout the campaign now. We obviously heard the reaction of the crowd off that last ball. And one of the boys saved you in the sheds up. I didn't have a lot of time to speak to them. Um, I know Mitch Shatner said to me, bro, we were running two no matter what, and I think realistically I'd headed straight to the guys, so I was never going to get back. So, um, yeah, I'll probably get a little bit from the guys this evening, um, but I'm excited to sort of spend some time with them. Obviously, when you went to the crease, things didn't look great. What were the messages out there? Yeah, I think the key, uh, I got sort of great advice from Glenn Phillips when he came in. Um, he said, you know, we'll just make sure we stay positive. Um, that's the key to our batting. Um, we just got to be positive, play positive cricket shots, and um, just build momentum through partnerships. You know, we had a good, good little stint. It was nice to sort of bat alongside Kane uh, for the first time, um, but then also continuing that momentum with Glenn Phillips and Jimmy Nisham, and obviously Mitch Sander at the end was was good for us and got us to a competitive total. As a batter, is that something <coughs> you, you thrive on and take extra satisfaction out of? You know, bailing your team out of a tough situation. Oh, not necessarily. I think for me it's important just to, to try and contribute in any way whatsoever. Um, I try and analyse the situation and the state of the game at a certain point and try and formulate a game plan through that. And um, yeah, luckily it went my way tonight. So um, we just got to keep that momentum throughout, throughout the series. Obviously guys have struggled with those opening overs, but when you got out there, I mean, what did you sort of feel was a, 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 a par score? Obviously you, you Something told you that, that you know there was a reason to go for it. Yeah, we mentioned before the game that the average first innings total is 169. So um, we're always keeping that total, that target in mind. Um, luckily, we built a couple of partnerships throughout the middle periods, and that got us to the over 180 mark. So um, we knew that the the wicket was going to get slightly better. It was a little bit spongy in the beginning, but it did get better, and we we're fortunate to get to the target that we wanted. Obviously, you better tonight we've seen you especially through Super Smash openly and then even is that something you'd, you'd be open to doing for New Zealand do you have a, a preference or are you open to batting anywhere? Nah not, not necessarily I think um, as I mentioned it's all about just for me analysing the situation of the game um, whatever's best for the team I'm happy to bat wherever that is um, so I think you know we can't look too too far ahead we, we put on a good total tonight and um, I'm sure a couple of the guys up the top will fill their boots in the next couple of games, so I don't think there's any reason to change much throughout the series. Devin, that's uh, five uh, straight 50s for you and um, for Wellington and <coughs> New Zealand. Um, where does this been right for you? Is this, is this the best? Yeah, I think 2020 is very hit and miss at times, so for me to tick over with five, I actually didn't realise that, but yeah, it's pretty cool to, to contribute with five 50s in a row. Um, it's about continuing that momentum, as I said, and um, you know, riding the wave as, as long as it lasts, because as I said, it can be a little bit hit and miss. So, pretty happy with how it's going so far. You've got a couple of not outs in a row for Wellington. So it must be a while since you've last been out in a late T20. <clears throat> I don't want to touch the money too soon. You know, I think um, you're right about there's been a couple of not outs, but um, yeah, it's just about doing the same thing over and over and ticking over and doing what I can for the team. How did you feel about the IPO auction the other day? Sort of weird purchase by your mind. Like, were you disappointed by that? Did you sort of expect to go? Um, no, no, not at all. Um, it was just sort of putting my name in the hat to see how it goes. Uh, it was pretty much just trying to work through the process of how it all happens. It was a, a nice learning curve to to do that. Um, so definitely not not surprised by not being picked up. It's um, it was just a nice little opportunity to see what the whole process was about. Is that sort of in the back of my mind if there's injuries or stuff crops up that you know if you keep going like this there might be a few teams looking at you if, if things strike? Oh, no, I, I don't look too far ahead for me. Um, it's all about just taking it day by day. Um, you know, I want to do a job for the team. You know, it's about reassessing, looking at Thursday and, and taking the opportunity against Dunedin and, and not looking too far ahead of that. Have you ever gone on the last couple of us at any level, have you ever gone on this sort of a record? Like, I think it's four and big knocks and it's sort of five straight. Oh, I'm not too sure. I'm not really a stats man. Um, so with you mentioning that tonight's first time, I've actually realised that. So I can't pass comment around that. So I, I wouldn't be sure. I noticed you won the man of the match. They able, they gave you the chance to give some money back to Wellington Club. Yeah. You joined them in what four years ago now? Yeah, uh, I think about three and a half years. I joined up with uh, Victoria University of Wellington Cricket Club. Um, they've been awesome. They were the guys that gave me the first opportunity to come over to New Zealand, build a life here. Um, 
they've obviously looked after me as well as my partner, so um, I owe them so much. And yeah, the, it's a club that's real close to my heart and I'm pretty grateful to give them the, the money at, at the end of the day. Australian audiences now are just finding out about you. They might not like you very much at the moment, but can, can you just explain what the move what brought you to New Zealand? Okay. Oh, I just think um, probably uh, just looking at, at a fresh start really, um, you know, with, with the opportunity to build a life here, um, not just through cricket, but you know, just experiencing the country as a whole. I've got a couple of friends who've been living here in the past and they've always had really positive to, things to say about New, Ze New Zealand. So um, I just thought, you know, my partner and I, we decided, well, let's take a leap of faith and, and see how it takes us. So we've been really grateful to be here. It's an amazing country. Um, as you can look at the whole COVID situation right now, how blessed we were to have a full crowd, sell our crowd here at Hagley tonight. So um, pretty special and um, pretty grateful to be here in New Zealand. How would you say it's going? In terms of? Being in New Zealand. Oh, it's amazing. Um, you know, it's just every day is a blessing really, you know, um, the culture, the people. Um, it's, just, it's just really cool to be a part of it all. And um, like I said, very grateful to be here. Just one if I can, Philippe. Obviously, you've had immense success since coming into this team. Obviously, a lot of cricketers, though, strive, you know, the, the red ball is their preferred format. I mean, how much would you love to represent or, you know, get the opportunity to play for New Zealand in, in that format? And do you feel doing this at, at, in this format is, you know, increasing your chances of doing it? Yeah, firstly, I'd, I'd love to play red ball cricket. I mean, it's been a dream of mine from, from a young age to play test cricket. But realistically, if you look at that test team, at the moment, you know, there's no real spaces for me, which is understandable. The guys that are there, they, um, you know, world-class players, they've won a couple of series on the bounce. So, again, um, like I say, I'd love to be a part of that. But realistically, um, hopefully one day my, my chance will, sh will come. But um, we, we just got to be grateful for the opportunity to play in the 2020s. And if the chance comes to play Red Bull cricket, you know, I'll be happy to take it with both hands. Just a note on uh, the circuits of today, playing on the anniversary of the earthquake and the first game on the lights here at Hagley. What was that like for you being here today? Yeah, it was pretty breathtaking, really. Um, I was sitting in the change room um, early before we went out for the national anthems, and the, they were showing some of the um, the scenes, the video clips of what happened 10 years ago. And I actually never seen those video footages of, you know, the buildings and all that sort of thing. So I was kind of sitting next to Kane and we we're both really shocked. Well, I was really shocked seeing that. But I didn't realize how bad it really was. And um, yeah, just to sort of remember that day, be a part of it, um, it was actually pretty cool. And then I think, you know, being on the lights as well, my first game at Hagley on the lights, um, it, was, it was pretty cool. I, I didn't drop a catch, you know, so the lights are really awesome. Um, <laughs> But um, yeah, it was, it was a great turnout and it was, it was good to get the win.